another beautiful day here in Somerset UK and I've got something new for you today and it's not just the lid which yes if you're a regular to the channel I've replaced the cask Vallegro with this POC Omni Air Spin bit of a mouthful very comfortable helmet uh, I can talk about that another time because that is not what we're here to talk about today today we're here to talk about my new second hand eBay special Genesis Longitude Steel bike packing bike So having dipped my toe into the bikepacking world with both the Mason Boker and then my Salsa Warbird, I still had a craving to be able to get something that was even more capable. These sort of steel rigid mountain bikes seem to be the way forward, especially if you can run some plus size tires in them. And Brother Cycles, which is uh, a really good looking bike company down uh, in Southeast England, had some really quite attractive options in the big bro which if you're familiar with that sort of bike packing bike is a really capable bike anyway but the frame set's quite hard to come by and when they just released their latest batch <laughs> although i was sorely tempted i saw this bike on ebay and it was less than the price of a frame set and although it's got an alloy fork compared to the steel fork of the big bro two by dior 2x10 and it's got hydraulic disc brakes so straight off the bat I thought getting a lot more bike for the money there and it looked in really good condition so I took the punt went and picked it up and we're out on its kind of not its maiden voyage I've had it around the local bridle paths and droves but today we're just heading out with Badger who will be bringing his beast his Trek 1120 on plus uh, three three inch plus size tires we're going to go explore some more local bridle paths, so come with us. First proper drove then of the day. Oh, bike's doing all right. I'm getting covered in mud already. Well, the bike and probably me are both now completely covered in mud. Turns out last night's rainfall has completely trashed all these droves, but, and despite being 2.8 inch tires, they clogged up with mud pretty quickly and became pretty useless with their grip. Never mind, lots of fun. I'd far rather do it on this bike than the Warbird. <laughs> Before you take the mick out of me for wearing S-Works SPD shoes on a bike like this, a different pedal and shoe interface is on my purchase list at some point for sure. Something a little more bike packing orientated rather than the performance orientated S-Works shoes. Oh, onwards. Badger's not embracing the mud no. and he's pretty upset he's got mud all over his leather brooks but <laughs> that's what you get for cycling off-road in the UK in spring it's pretty much always wet and muddy here but the bike's doing really well I'm on WTB trailblazers which is what comes with the bike as stock in 2.8 um, the only thing I've changed is put this Sonda handlebar on just to give me a bit more space Probably do a more riser. Uh, Badger's got a 
he's got a Jones bar on his which looks really ideal uh, and he's done a video on that so do check out his channel as well have a look there all right onwards We're off and walking. Now we're back out the uh, <clears throat> muddy woods. Yeah. We're about to stop for some lunch, check out this view. But first, should we watch Badger try and get his big fat bike over this uh, stile? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, difficult. Lunch done. We're on with the ride. It's been pretty hard going um, with a lot of gates to try and get these heavy bikes through. So definitely worth considering when you're route planning for this sort of bike. But look at the view here up on the ridge line. It's absolutely ace. This is why we do it, for the views. What a stunning day. dropped Badger back at his place and ain't nothing but rolled for me now so far less interesting and not really the terrain for this bike so I'll wrap the video up here some uh, initial thoughts on the longitude I don't really have much to compare it to I am as you'll note from my channel more of a road gravel bike user but it feels good few tweaks I need to make to the saddle height I think the saddle position um, the rear tyre looks pretty worn, so may look at refreshing the tyres at some point. Full frame bag to go in. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, change that pedal and shoe set up at some point to something more suitable. Um, but other than that, it's been an absolute blast. Real go slow adventure day. Been out for a long time. Nice lunch up on the top of the hill. Hopefully with normality starting to return here in the UK be able to plan a nice trip out maybe new forest or something soon with a camp overnight so if you've got any questions about the genesis longitude stick them down below in the comments otherwise if you can like and subscribe that will help grow the channel in the meantime with weather like this make sure you get out and ride see you in the next one